Hey, welcome back. I want to plant some pumpkins in my gardens and I don't want the cutworms to get them. Hence, the tin can. What do you think? Think it'll work? I think so. Let's do it. This garden bed was the one that we scattered around all of the hot peppers on. And after all that, we just got two little guys. The cutworms, I mean, they came up. They were all over the place in here, but cutworms seem to have taken down all of them, except these two, which is just insane. And so I'm tired of trying to grow stuff that doesn't really want to grow. By the way, these are Celosia. They do want to grow. Very nice edible plant, Celosia argentia. But back to this. Right here, I know the pumpkins will want to grow. And so I've decided to bring the pumpkins right here and plant them. I got a variety of pumpkin by the side of the road the other day. Yes, I'm still at it. That was the most incredible, bumpy, toad-like, bizarre looking pumpkin. I just got a slice of it and it had some seeds. So I'm going to plant those seeds right here and grow some of my own right in the middle. I'm gonna loosen this spot up and put some compost right here to make a pumpkin hill. And then, let's stick my tin can in here. There we go, and that's where I'm going to plant my seeds. I know it's unconventional, but I am sick of these cutworms taking things down. It's interesting, some of these have already germinated. They were germinated inside of the pumpkin. But I'm gonna stick these in here. Stick a couple more in. I don't know if this is gonna be the best way to do this or not. This will be an experiment because, you know, they're not gonna be able to spread their roots out like I would like being inside of this cramped little can. There's a hole in the bottom which they can reach out. Once they get going further out, of course, um, they root all along the stems of the vines, and that's what I'm going to count on fixing them up. So, and yeah, we'll see. I don't know. You guys get to see it first. It's interesting, at least. Right here, I'm planting my control group. I'll throw a little compost on these, too, but I won't put any collar around them. So we'll see what happens. There we go. Science. Will it work? I don't know. We live on the dangerous edge. Find more danger at my website, thesurvivalgardener.com. Oh, and like the videos. Like, that's the thumbs up bit. Do that bit and share them. Thank you all for watching. Have a great week. Get you gonna shriek aloud in defiance I'ma kill them all through the power of science When it comes to pest control you can call me the chancellor With my handy tin can cut worm canceller Wrap around the stems, yes my gems will be protected Keeping their tender greenery from being vivisected By the gnawing little jaws of the nasty little larva I hope you all make a like Gandhi and starva I can't take it, you insects, I'm done I was a peace-loving gardener and you never had to run before From my plots, you were safe in my lots but you got greedy and needy, so goodbye You beady-eyed freaks with your piercing beaks And your chitinous shells and your nighttime shrieks I'ma kill you, I'ma kill you 
one and all So get out of my garden or you're facing a fall And death to the bugs, I'm bringing the poison Get all your creepy little crawly girls and boys in Just in time for me to totally wreck you Science is my friend so nothing will protect you